Oh, hi, how are you going? Hi, I have an appointment at 10. Yeah, what was your name, sorry? Stacy. Stacy, uh, yeah, the doctor will see you now. Just in there. Hi, Stacy, you can take a seat if you like. Hi, right, Stacy, so we um, got your test results back, and unfortunately, it's what we suspected, and you've got gestational diabetes. So, like, all we can recommend at this stage, um, like, to ensure that you're healthy and the baby's healthy, is to remain physically active, um, just keep a healthy diet. Uh, have you been doing that so far? Yeah. Yeah, and you feel like you could do that throughout the whole pregnancy? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, just do best, avoid any junk food, any alcohol, um, and after that we'll, well after you've had the baby, we'll, we'll check up on you then and see where to go. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Hi Stacey, how can I help you today? Um, well, I've been needing to wee quite a lot lately. Um, I've been really tired and really lethargic and um, really thirsty and I've just been having really bad headaches. Okay, do you have a um, history of type 2 diabetes in your family? Um, I think my grandma had like type 2 diabetes or something. Okay, so type 2 diabetes has a really strong genetic link and the likelihood of getting type 2 diabetes increases with a poor lifestyle. So Stacey, you've been in before and we've found out you have a BMI of 30 which classifies you as obese. You have a high cholesterol and high hypertension. Have you been doing anything to fix this? Um, I don't know. How do you fix it? So you need to make lifestyle changes, things such as uh, quitting smoking, uh, starting exercising and eating well, so changing your diet. Well, I hate exercise and because I'm a truck driver I never have time to cook healthy food so I'm always eating takeaway. So Stacey, I'm really sorry to say, but um, here we've got your fasting blood glucose levels are really high. This is an indication that you've uh, developed type 2 diabetes, which is more likely often happens after you've uh, had gestational diabetes. Great. So to fix this, we're going to prescribe you a drug called uh, metformin. You're going to go to the pharmacist and she'll tell you about this drug. Okay, thank you. Hi, Hi. Hi. I'd just like to fill this prescription, please. Yeah. Um, so this is for metformin? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever taken metformin before? No. No, that's right. Okay, so I'll just give you a bit of an overview. So you'll probably just struggle to manage your glycemia um, with just diet and exercise, which your doctor would have talked to you about previously. Yeah. Yeah. So this metformin will assist you um, with the complications of your type 2 diabetes. So it's not very expensive because you will be taking it um, for the rest of your life. So it's not very expensive, which is good. Um, but you might experience some nausea and some diarrhea. As this is a chronic disease, you will be required to take this for the rest of your life, as I previously said, but most likely with the complexity of medications increasing. So are you likely to adhere to this? Yeah, I think with your education and the doctor's education, mm -hmm. I'm determined to adhere. That's good. That's good. All right, so are you taking um, any of these drugs, so cimetidine, nifedipine, or any AC inhibitors that you know of? No. You're not? Okay, perfect because some of those can um, interact with the um, metabolism of the drug and so it affects its, um, it working. Okay. okay, cool. So here's your metformin. So what I want you to do is take this 500 milligram tablet twice a day, every day, but eventually we will be increasing your dosage um, as the weeks go on, but for now just take it twice a day. And do you have any questions? Yeah. No. No, that's all good. And if you have any other um, complications or anything, just come back and see us. Okay. All right, and was that all you wanted to purchase for today? Um, I might get some jelly beans. Hi, I'm Matt Foreman and my drug class is a hypoglycemic agent and I work on endocrine and metabolism disorders. So I'm the most common drug used to treat type 2 diabetes because I'm, I increase glucose uptake and increase the efficiency of insulin. However, I do require insulin to be present to have my anti-hypoglycemic effect. My possible mechanisms of action include I inhibit gluconeogenesis in the liver <laughs> and I also slow glucose absorption in the GI tract and I increase peripheral uptake of glucose. After intake I'm absorbed along the GI mucosa and I travel unbound to plasma proteins. I do not undergo hepatic metabolism Yum! <laughs> Hi 
Stacey, it's good to see you again. You're looking really well. Yeah, the metformin worked well because I've been exercising and changed my diet too. That's awesome.